Hey y'all, okay, so let me tell y'all, I was on the phone with a friend of mine and we were talking about how we feel like it's so hard to get support as a mother. When do the mothers get the support that we need? And I know it's like a constant back and forth thing, like especially if you have a partner in the house and it's like y'all arguing like who do it the most, who's doing this, who's doing that. And it's like, it's a dead end with the argument. It does not go anywhere because you we not come into an agreement if we just looking at what we're doing and what they're not doing. So I think the first thing first is you have to acknowledge what your partner is doing that is helping you. Like, what are they doing that's helpful to you? Acknowledge that and let them know like, hey, I appreciate blah, 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 whatever your partner is doing, especially me and they love appreciation, okay? <laughs> they love it. So, you know, for me personally, what I had to do because I was feeling burnt out. Y'all, first of all, I am Fonetta Jackson. This is our channel, Netta Ena TV. I am a mother of four child. And one of our twins, one of our twin babies, she's two. And she has a disability. She has a purse syndrome. So that's a lot in itself. Then we have a four-year-old and a six-year-old. And then, of course, her twin sister, who's also two. So we have a lot going on. So I'm a stay-at-home mom and an entrepreneur. So anything I do, it's from home. And I'm usually always with the kids. It's always going to fall on me being with the kids, doing the dishes, doing the laundry, doing the cooking, doing all of the cleaning, then having to take care of myself. Because, listen, I cannot pour. I don't know about you. But I cannot pour from no empty cup. I cannot do it. I just, I can't do it. I don't, I, like, I really, I'll try to do it for so long. But then after a while, I'll find myself just kind of, you know, uh, just like a little numb. Like, you're just so tired of talking and telling about everybody. I need help. I need you to do this. I need you to do that. And I don't need, I don't need help outside of my partner. Like, when it comes to my grandma, my aunts, you know, my family, my sister, you know, whoever because it's not really their responsibility. I'm talking about in the house with my partner. I be we be clutching hands. Because I be like, listen, I know you want to go to work and you want to get your extra overtime and you want to provide as a man, man wants to provide. And they always say, "Oh, well the woman is supposed to be with the children." This is not back in the 50s. Us women trying to make our own coins. Okay, so a lot of moms that are stay-at-home moms are now entrepreneurs. We finding a way to make our own money, to bring in a nice big bag. You want to know why? What's the motivation? You want to buy a nice house. You want to give your kids everything. I mean, you want Target, you want Walmart, you want to get this, you want to get that. You on Amazon, you want to get that stuff that's in your court. Okay, and then it's just like, it's therapeutic. Like, you just buying your kids nice clothes nice toys taking them out to dinner y'all my kids waking up somebody hurry up because it's about to get loud so anyways y'all we had to come to an agreement because i'm i know he's like i'm working all the time i'm doing overtime and so you know when i come home i want to go to sleep and eat and that's it okay so we had to come to a compromise we talked and i told him i said listen i really appreciate you providing for us even though i'm helping provide too I said, I really appreciate you providing for us. I really appreciate you being in our lives. Because a lot of times, y'all, we be in public and people be like, oh my gosh, it's so awesome to see a black family together. The black man is still in the house. Girl, he better be still in the house. What he was about to do? See, that's why I was not sitting up here trying to have a baby with my thug boyfriends back in high school and college. I was just having fun with them. Then I had to let them go. When I knew it was time for me to start creating some babies, I had to find me a real man. Okay, so I, I was not about to find Joey off of, uh, what is it, y'all, baby boy? I was not about to go mess around with Joey and let him impregnate me. Okay, so anyways, I you know, just you got to choose wisely. And even when you do choose wisely, stuff be going left out of nowhere. You don't even know what's going on. So you got to make sure that you okay up here because you never know what you got to do it by yourself. Nobody choose. Well, some people do choose to be a single parent. My sister did, and we will have another talk show about that. But, you know, for those who don't choose to be a single parent, you go into these relationships, these marriages, thinking, oh, we're going to be together forever. When girls stuff going on that you don't know about, or, you know, things just happen. People fall out of love. 
you know, people stop dating because they have all of these kids. So anyways, y'all, I'm just going to say that you have to make sure that you okay up here. You got to make sure that you're not pouring from an empty cup. You got to make sure that you're dependent on you to do the best that you can for your children so you will not get burnt out. But while you have a partner in the house... You got to make sure that y'all communicate with each other. Y'all like my sparkly lights. They going on and off. I think the battery about to die, but that's okay. But you got to make sure you communicate with them. First, get on a positive reinforcement. Thank you for doing this. Thank you for doing what you do. And then after that, you say, well, babe, look, I really need a little bit of extra help. I'm really feeling a little burnt out. It's to the point where I'm just eating things that I should not be eating. Quick snacks. Because I don't have time to be cooking for myself. Or I'm either eating the scrapes after the kids. I need to pour into myself, babe. Okay? I need to pour into myself so that I can help you guys. So that I can be here for as long as I can. Because y'all, stress makes you sick. So you got to make sure you good. And you got to let your partner know, you don't want to be here. But I need to take care of me. Can I have a self-care day? You mind if I take a nap? And what can I do for you? What, what would make it easier for you? Can I take a load off your back? You need me to cut the grass? You need me to take on some more bills? What do you need me to do? Because we have to work together. We are a partnership, okay? And see, it wouldn't be as hard if I was a single parent. I wouldn't have nobody be mad at because, hey. But what if you in my house, you in my face, I'm making your play. We need to come to a compromise. And so that's what you do. Just keep it okay. Okay, that was the lesson of the day. I love y'all and remain positive always because why not? Okay. Okay, y'all. So I had to come take y'all with me because y'all, after this video, I was like, let me go ahead and take these kids out to the park because we about to go and have us a good time, y'all. And guess what? Listen, that's why I told y'all, you have to remain positive. See, a lot of times, like the default parent, we might be like, oh, we're the moms. We're not going to do anything. We're going to sit there in our misery. Things aren't going right. We're so tired. But you know what? You cannot even sit up there and let the kids suffer for that. Get out the house. Take them out and have a good time. And like I said, work it out with your partner because you have to have balance. And not only do you have to have balance, child, but you got to make sure you happy and your kids happy. So you can always find something to do that is fun for you and your kids. Y'all, I know one thing us mamas like to do is sometimes we like to sit and scroll on our phone, look on TikTok, see what recipes we're going to be cooking for tonight and all that kind of stuff. But another thing is, y'all, with me personally, I don't be feeling like putting all my kids in the car seat. So for a while, I was just like finding things for us to do in the house. And I found myself just going to Walmart and stuff to get groceries. And that was about it. But I was like, you know what? I had to get back on it. I said, you know what? Let me start taking them around the city and start exploring. Just get in the car and go. Do not let it stop you knowing that you got to pack up diaper bags. You got to make sure they got this, they got that, they iPads is charged up. Don't let that stop you. Just get out, explore the city, find some free stuff to do because y'all know we love the free stuff, okay? I know I do. Find you some free stuff to do around your city, y'all. They got all kind of stuff on TikTok and Instagram. And you can just type in your city and like stuff to do for the kids. And they'll just be having vlogs and all kind of stuff, okay? So love y'all. Have a good day. Follow for more content.